I always eat the local specialty because I'm a pig. <laughs> I did this big tour of the uh, southern states, and I'll tell you something, people in the south are nicer. They are. Even when they're rude, they're nice in the south. They're like, y'all can go to hell. Like, well, thank you. <laughs> you too. People in the South are nicer, but they're slower, right? And I don't mean intelligence-wise. They just move slower. It's like, hey, your house is on fire. All right. I'll get to that. But first, I need to drink me some sweet tea. <laughs> then I'll deal with that pesky house of mine. And I figured it out. It's the biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Everyone in the South moves like they've just had two helpings. Like, I shouldn't have had that. Second helping of, This is a nine-year-old I'm pretending to be. <laughs> I miss guys. And, and the South, they're eating biscuits and gravy for breakfast. They're not coming home drunk late at night, like, I don't eat anything. They're waking up, and they're like, time for cement. Um, <laughs> um, lunch, chicken, and waffles. Um. The South will never rise again, because they don't have the energy. Because most of their dishes involve paper mache. They're essentially eating pinatas down there. That's why they talk that way. Because after you eat biscuits and gravy, you can't be expected to say you and all. Good biscuits and gravy, y'all. I'm surprised they even say biscuits and gravy. Uh, but give me, give me, give me. <sighs> Yeah. And I'll tell you something, those biscuits and gravy are amazing. I had biscuits and gravy for breakfast for nine days straight. I still haven't gone to the bathroom. <laughs> that tour was 27 years ago. <laughs> I love Southern food. Chicken and waffles, fried chicken, and waffles. <laughs> Why? What should we serve with the fried chicken? French fries? No, something elegant. <laughs> like a waffle, or a gyro, or heroin. <laughs> I know it's lunch, but I want breakfast and diabetes. <laughs> so I'll have the chicken and waffles and a shake. Of course, you can't talk about Southern food without bringing up grits, right? Grits, it's like someone was like, hey, if if you love the taste of biscuits and gravy, but without the taste of biscuits and gravy, then you'll love our man-made wet sand. <laughs> I want to like grits. I do. I order them, and I'm like, are these undercooked or overcooked? No wonder you came up with moonshine. Southerners are always like, y'all are eating that wrong. You gotta add a pound of cheese and a pound of sugar and 30 candy canes. <laughs> That's what I love about the South. They don't even try and hide the fact they're eating unhealthy. In a restaurant, you're like, I guess I'll order the bucket of lard <laughs> and the salt stick. <laughs> y'all want that deep fried? Uh, uh, okay. You want us to shoot at you while you eat it? <laughs> Is that extra? <laughs> but there's unhealthy eating everywhere. I was in Arizona and New Mexico, and there are people eating fried bread. There are stands that sell only fried bread. And I saw that, and I was like, I found my people. <laughs> fried bread? I eat unhealthy, but come on. I know a donut's fried bread, but at least we don't call it fried bread. I mean, at what point do you even feel comfortable eating something called fried bread? Have you ever eaten cake in the shower? A couple times. <laughs> You're ready for fried bread. <laughs> ever eaten in your car so you don't have to share with your children? Every day. <laughs> You're ready for fried bread. Fried bread, that is the opposite of a diet, right? What are the basic elements of a diet? It's like, all right, no fried food. No fried food, got it. You gotta cut out all the bread, cut out. Hey, what about fried bread? <laughs> is there some kind of fried bread diet? Actually, the term is fry bread. It's not fried bread, it's fry bread. It's like a command, a call to action. If you aren't already, fry bread. Let's get fat. 
And I'm not judging those people. They're actually more honest than us. Because we eat fried bread, but we do it in code. It's like, you want fried bread? No. I'll have an elephant ear. <laughs> you want fried bread? <laughs> no. I'll just have a beignet. <laughs> We're like that guy at the party trying to find weed. Hey, is your friend Bud gonna be here tonight? <laughs> you know, he hangs out with that guy named Herb. <laughs> He's going out with the girl from Mexico named Marijuana. <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you want. If you want to see more stand-up, I have more stand-up. Or if you want to see an original show like Let's Get Cooking or The Mike and Pat Show, that's available on my channel. But also, just know that I'll be posting a new video every day during this pandemic or until the world ends. Please hit subscribe and turn on your alert or notification button.